it came. I don't know what it is, but I got that feeling. Waking up in this bed next to you, I swear the room here yeah, got no ceiling. The bar. Oh my God. This is crazy. Okay. I might have to tell you something. I like me better when I'm with you. I like me better when I'm with you. Two. I'm from the first time. Oh my god. I say for oh my god. Time, cause I like me better when I like me better when of the Canyon Spectral CF 8.0 EX. I like me better when I'm with you. I like me better when I'm with you. I knew from the first time I stayed for a long time cause I like me better when I like me better Okay, now I'm gonna go over some of the stuff that comes with the bike. So what comes with the bike is you get this bag, has some spacers for the fork. Oh, there's just a bag full of instructions. Ooh, Rock Shock sticker. Um, man, I don't know if it came with, came with any stickers. Um, so it's when you you take off your wheel and you pull the brake without the wheel in it, the the pistons will go closed and they won't open. You have to like put a screwdriver and open them. So this just, you slide that in and then it keeps them from closing all the way. It comes with two of those. You don't have to have any tools to assemble the bike. They ship them with you. They, they give you this nice little thing, a manual. Okay, so the tools it comes with are a really nice shock pump. This is high quality, um, can go up to 350 PSI. The max, the max pressure in the rear shock is 350 PSI. See, it comes with this really cool torque wrench. Really no, no skill level involved to use it. You just put it in, you twist it, and when you get enough torque, like once so you just start turning like this, and then when, when you get enough torque, or when, you, when it receives enough pressure, this little thing will move across, and it'll show you the Newton meters. I know a lot about bikes, and me and my friend Max, and a little bit of my dad's help, we put this together in like 10 to 20 minutes. It was not that hard. Um, I'm still gonna probably bring it to a bike shop and have the mechanic just make sure everything's all set before I take it to any hard trails. But I, I think it's pretty good. I was just riding around, it feels awesome. And it has this really cool thing where if you crash, the handlebars don't go spinning out of control. It has like a little lock. Um, if you want any like bar spins and stuff, first of all, you're, you're gonna need longer cables, but you can take it off. It turns and it just whacks into that. And it's perfect. Just makes it so it can't can't go farther than that. I just wanted to thank Canyon for letting me have this bike or sending me this bike and my my neighbor or my neighbor, I don't know if she wants me to say her name in this video, but you know who you are. Thank you so much. She gave me this friends and family deal on this bike and I would never have been able to get this bike without her help. And I just want to thank you so much. I'm just so grateful. Um she also included some extra goodies in there. So they sent me this hat. They sent me this jersey. Okay, this is this is actually a really, really nice jersey. Thank you, Canyon. Um, look, it says like, it says like there's sponsors or something like RockShox, Ram, Mavic, Canyon. I love the blue and the black. It just looks so good. Um, I got a small. It fits me perfectly. I am five seven and a half. 
Um, and yeah, they got this. This is awesome. This is a Canyon water bottle. Definitely gonna be using that. And this nice, and this really nice bottle cage. I can't, I can't tell if it's carbon fiber. I think it's carbon fiber. But just thank you so much, Canyon. And my neighbor, I cannot thank you enough. That is basically the rundown of this bike. Now I'm gonna go over how the bike feels. As I'm riding it, it's just phenomenal. It's just so cushy. I have a hardtail with rock shocks, something or other. These are like $250 forks. And they're they're not that good. They like barely take out any of like the little stuff. Occasionally like the big stuff, but it, I don't really notice them. These ones take out everything. From like the little bumps, there's probably like that much travel just set aside for all that, that little bumps. And then like the rest is just for all the big like rocks you go over or drops you do. Um, and it's just, it's so soft. It feels like you're riding a clock. This is my first full suspension bike, um, but I've ridden some of my friends. I rented some at North Star on this trip I went to a downhill park. The bikes we rented at North Star, they were $6,500 bikes. They were specialized in Duro. Um, this feels just as good as that. And this is, this is half the price. So this is, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's just insane. And the, the quality you, you can get on these Canyon bikes for the price is like unheard of. It's nowhere else. For a $3,000, I was looking at getting a $3,200 Trek Remedy 8. Had GX derailleur, basically same derailleur. Had Shimano Dior brakes, not as good. The, the shocks, it, the, the, I think it was the, the step below where the forks and the uh, the rear shock was. It was like, if this is where my fork and my rear shocks are, they're like the step below. There's a gardener cutting one. Anyways, and on that Trek Remedy 8, it was aluminum alloy. They do not want me to film this video. Okay, and the frame material on the Trek Remedy 8 was aluminum alloy. It was 6061, so pretty nice quality aluminum alloy, but... This is carbon, but this is carbon. I got it for maybe $200 more. Like everything is a step up. The brakes, SRAM Guide RS on here are way, way, way better than Shimano Dior. Just trust me, I, I've had Shimano SLX. These are better than Shimano SLX. And Shimano Dior is one step below SLX. Uh, you might be thinking, oh, it's probably like bad quality carbon fiber, like some other $2,000 carbon fiber bikes that you can find. But no, it's really, really good quality. I can just tell by the way it feels, the way it rides. I did all of this research on it and it's like one of the highest quality carbon fiber that you can get. Bike won some award for the best bike of the year in like Britain or Germany or somewhere like that. The tires are Maxxis High Roll in the front and Minion in the rear. This bike is so good. The hub is DT Swiss. I don't really know much of their, you know, stuff, but they, they sound really nice. They work really well, really smooth. I'm gonna spin this wheel. The, the pedals that this bike come with are pretty good. I wouldn't really take them on anything above a green level trail. Yeah, I would definitely get different pedals if you're serious about mountain biking. Um, and you know, they're, they're perfectly fine for riding around town, but for actually trail riding, you're, you're gonna want nicer ones. I put Shimano Saints on, these work so well. The Shimano Saints, they come with these spacers and the screws, and they, they work okay like that. Like once you take out the spacers, lengthens the screws, and they're just so great. Once you put on your foot, say you, say you put your foot down like in the wrong spot. I had this problem a couple times at North Star, where you, you go on the run, you're like, shoot, my foot's in the wrong spot. And you literally have to stop, pull your foot up, then move it around, then put it down, and then you keep going. This is a nice bike. Okay, I just realized something. I can finally do this on my own bike, so all my friends have full suspensions. They just stand up and just drop onto their saddle. I could not do it on my heart. I can finally do it on my own bike. I like me better when I'm with you. I like me better when I'm with you.